Hello, everybody. Happy Monday night. It was not... Monday started rough, but it's less rough now. Um, we have people. We have all kinds of first-time guests, and I'm really excited about it. Oh, we have, no, no. Shut up. Well, we'll we have... That. We have... We have... First of all, we have the wonderful... The wonderful bandit of Uberness. Say hello, sir. Tell them who you are. I I am the Uber Bandit, a uh, permanent level thirty something ranger because I haven't played in a while. We won't talk about that. Because <laughs> rangers are hard. That's why life is hard. I've I've also I've been trying to level with my buddy, but getting the trifecta of a Reni plus him plus me all together. Um, it's not happened yet. You have lots of competing schedules. I mean, mm. lot, it's it's hard. It's hard. I can I can barely get one person on for a thing. <laughs> so I mean, <laughs> shit, <laughs> you're trying to get three. That's by the rule of math. That is not going to be a thing. Not an easy thing, at least. Um, nice. There's people besides me. Hooray! Oh, I know what I was doing. The problem, I messed up because I typed Circum P99 instead of Uber Bandit 22, and my brain was just looking at it like, that's not right. But the uh, link will be in chat in a second. Or actually, it's there now, but in a second, you'll understand why I linked it. It's because that's Uber Bandit's stream. And he has been streaming more lately, contrary to what he'll have you believe, because I've seen it. Um, I've been streaming amounts of time. Yes. Amounts of time have been streamed. Um, we also have we have Chevy Truck from Azor Guard. Say hello, sir. Tell these fine people who you are. Uh, hello, everybody. This is Chevy. I am uh, I'm a rogue and Azure Guard, one of the officers. A plus. And I play P ninety nine. That's a plus. Um, and sometimes I play a druid, but normally the rogue. No one cares about druids. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, I just thought of something. It's not appropriate, though, so it means we're going to have to wait to talk about it later for all the kitties to go to sleep. Um, um, we'll call it missing blah, 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 pals. And, and lastly, but not leastly, we have the guild leader of Azor, Guard Nymphs. Say hello. Tell them who you are. Hello, I am the guild leader of Azure Guard. My name is Nymphs. That is that is great job there, pal. Um So let's just get right into it. Uh I guess Chevy, you, you can go first on this. When uh EQ history. Did you play live? When did you play live? Uh I did play live. I played Mm-hmm. Well, you played. <laughs> played. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, I think we're 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 gonna move on. Um, Uber Bandit, we're gonna go to you. We're gonna we're gonna right. we're gonna sub you in for for this guy. When did mm -hmm. uh when did Chevy start playing on EQ? Um, yesterday. Yesterday. So he yes. has no classic experience at all. Well, hey. oh. no, no, just keep going. Okay. Well, it's funny you say that because actually EverQuest came out yesterday. Oh, see, that would make a lot of sense. So he was a day one starter. Mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. it. I like Confirmed it. day one. Um, Nemps, apparently they're making fun of the way I say your name. Uh, how do you say your name? No, you're saying it right. It's Nemps. Oh, yeah. You guys are retarded. I'm saying it right. <laughs> Uber Bandit, I'd like to know more mm -hmm. about Chevy's history. When did he start on P99? Um, probably, wait, fucking, we have his GM here. He I know, but he's going to answer his own questions. I felt like subbing you in. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Oh. All right, all right. Nems, like, Nems has to explain his history. Dude can come back. Give me your, uh, give me your, your EQ live history. Did you play live? When did you play live? I did play live. Um, I gotta get your credentials out on the table for everybody so they can respect your official nerd status. Oh gosh. <laughs> I, think, I think I was like uh, maybe twelve. 
Oh, that's and, sweet. Um, and yeah, so Dula is, she was one of the original founders of AG. She's my real life mom and, uh, and played the game with me for ever. I, I actually remember, oh gosh, we played on Vishan, um, which I guess later turned into Leflin, but she, I remember when she got her epic, uh, and it was, it was when the uh, Rage Fire was actually in was it Skyfire. Like, you kill him and he ends up in Skyfire or something. Mm hmm. Right? I don't know. Um, we stayed up all night long camping it, and then he popped. She got her epic, and uh, she said, All right, we're going to Disney World. And we actually did go to Disney World. <laughs> 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 all right, so. I don't know. that. I don't know if I'm considered. I don't know. I'm going to have to check with Darabail and see if Disney World trips are considered RMT. <laughs> Even if there's a family blood relation, I got to see if it's RMT. I don't know if you have any uh, jurisdiction over that. That was that was like never, 11, 13 years ago or something. Never underestimate my jurisdiction. It, it is all encompassing. He is the law. I will, I will ban Disney World. Speaking of Disney World, whoever thought of Epcot Center is probably my most favorite person in the world because while I was talking shit about Disney World the other night to somebody, they reminded me that the Epcot Center is essentially a giant circle of food. And and you can just go in a circle and visit all the little countries and get food from each one. And it's amazing. That is true. That is true. You can't dispute that. I have a mug from when I was there, and it has all of the countries that have their food there. It it's was... okay, people in chat. I haven't been to Disney World either. Is, sad. is Chad upset about Disney World? No, but I know that there's at least one other person out there that's like, I have no idea what the fuck they're talking about because I've never been to Disney World. They can okay. Google, Google Epcot Center if you've never been to Disney World. It's it's fine. Just know there's lots of food. It's It's a theme park of food. Green and... Grocer would love this place. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> now that I'm saying it out loud and thinking about it, I, I don't know. I'm going to have to find out if he's aware that this exists. All right. Um, Amsterdam has my back. <laughs> Excellent. Oh. So this is the first time I've ever used Skype, so go easy on me, fellas. Oh, that's okay. I am going to probably break your balls at every opportunity just because... It entertains me to no end to do that to people. But you should know, it's not personal. I do it for the lulls. Um, but yeah, you got cut off earlier. I was wondering, uh, your EQ history. Did you play live? Did you play classic? When did you, like, when did you get into EQ? Yeah, I, I played ever since about a month after launch. Well, yeah, right around 2000. My brother played before me right from launch, and I saw him playing as cleric one day and figured I'd join him. And we, we played on Rod, Set, Knife. I played for probably like three years up until about Planes of Power. And then I basically forgot about EQ until uh, Sony got hacked and gave out a bunch of free time, and I hopped on the account, and then a few months later I found P99. Oh, so I've kind of had a lot of experience with the original you know classic expansions that's that's pretty awesome are you uh are you real excited about velius i am very excited about velius because i can this tell you one main reason because i don't remember very much at all about it so it's going to be like brand new to me again oh velius is going to be so good um i can tell you velius has been coming up a lot in staff discussions it's it's there's not much left for us to do before we give it to you guys except force a, a beta test right well we tried not to i've been saying since day one to rogan since we talked about this in the parking lot of outback steakhouse i swear to god and i told him you need to do a force beta you need to turn off the servers and force it because as someone who's been around the project for a very long time I remember when Kunark was in beta and nobody, it was the same thing. Nobody beta tested it until we turned off the servers and did a forced mandatory Kunark beta test. And then, and then people did. Um, interesting how it works. 
and so yeah finally that's gonna be a thing with uh velius and maybe it sucks and maybe people aren't thrilled about it but we need the testers we need it like we want velius out as bad as you guys want velius out so when you say that what do you like chevy and i were talking about it we don't have a whole lot of personal knowledge about velius so we go on and we see like some item drop from some dude we're gonna be like okay that's pretty cool i mean nice new item for us it's not going to be like oh well this guy should never have this on his loot table because here i have logs from right 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 i i totally get that and trust me when i say you're not the only person who said that to me um i would say you could check out the velius forums sub forums whatever if there's nothing in there that's listed for people to do or look at then i would say just go with uh groups of people either do raids or uh, reach out to Alanova and see if there's a day that uh, you guys can hook up so that you can do your raid while he's there. Or you can just shoot Alanova a private message and be like, hey, I don't have logs of Velius. I don't know if something's broken when I see it. Is there anything I can look at to help you? And I'm sure Alanova will gladly give you a list of Velius things to do. Um... I'm personally, I'm not a dev. I don't do dev work, so I can't be like, they need this, this, and this. Because I just simply don't know. Um, but I do know I it's getting close. pathing. <laughs> yeah. Just abuse all the pathing possible. So okay. That's the thing. I mean, you could legit just go in there and try to bug out pathing. Just train shit mm. all over zones. And make sure the mobs actually keep chasing you and don't, you know, fall in a wall or get stuck or whatever, whatever, whatever. I know one time me and Darabelle were running through, um, shit, either Eastern Wastes or Iceclad Ocean. And we saw these random, like, invisible man, like, uh, NPC marker things that players aren't supposed to see. It's like a dev command thing. And uh, they were just all over circling the the <laughs> t- tower of frozen shadow, and it was just like, well, found my first bug. And I mean, th- I just found that just by running around. Like you don't even need. Uh, I didn't need anything. I just knew that there shouldn't be NPCs with weird ass names that are invisible scattered across the zone. Um. So did you just encourage P ninety nine to go train everybody? On beta, yeah, absolutely. You can break the shit out of beta. You can six box and train six different zones at once, as long as you're doing it to test pathing. If if there's a group of uh, players, you know, raiding something, don't go and train that raid, obviously. But if there's nobody in Siren's Grotto, if there's nobody in Velks, or if there's nobody in uh, Dragon Necropolis go to these places and just run mobs around and see what happens. And uh, you don't really need any logs or research or knowledge for that. You just need some good eyeballs. So Yeah, one thing one thing I, I did notice being in Dragon Necropolis once, I don't know if anybody tested this or figured it out, but the rogue traps were a little wonky, so that's possibly an area to check out. Rogue traps. Beta test them. Hmm. AG's new mission. Oh, Uber Bandit. Uh-huh. How did you start playing EverQuest? Um, my dad played EverQuest. We moved to it after uh, Legends of Kesme, which is an old top-down, like, right around the same time as Ultima Online, sort of old-ass MMO style. Is top-down um, fancy person talk for helicopter view? Yeah. A+. plus. Yeah, because top-down. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Maybe it's some like ancient thing that I never heard of back oh, then. I don't old, know. Good old moving by tiles. <laughs> it was one of those tile games. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, um, but yeah, played EverQuest probably starting around six. I think I did the math once up until uh, Gates of Discord. Oh man, a Ranger. Wow. I like that. So it's like classic, uh, like it's it's classic for your personal timeline of life too. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I, I like that. <laughs> so well, and the fun <laughs> thing is, like, so I was I was young enough that I honestly like don't remember specific things very well. <laughs> but when I first uh, 
got on P99. I absolutely lost my shit the first time I looted something. <laughs> the sounds. Like, it just comes back. <laughs> Opened a bag and went, oh god, that lo-fi, yes. <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> you know, it's the absolute best. Like, I finally got that leather tunic. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh yeah, the was uh, it was it was good. It doesn't Kill need an orc. stats. Orc it, made orcs, it orc noises. It was great. It doesn't Listen need stats if it makes you look sexier. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm look, man, that full set of leather <laughs> over from Ken Lo knows back. Turn in belts. That's life. Oh. That yeah, hey, I went after the bronze armor when I first started. Bronze was a big deal back in the day. I remember that people, little little shorty dwarf warrior I knew was so proud when he finally got all his bronze. I wanted an oracle robe so bad. I would have killed a room full of infants for an oracle robe. <laughs> I thought it was like, because, you know, it was the plain one colored starter robes. I had all of those, but, mm -hmm. oh man, I saw this nerd in, a, in an oracle robe one time and I, 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 oh, I lost my I think mind. My favorite robe model is the cryo silk. Oh, cry oh yeah, that's that's sexy. I like the, the white. Yeah. I like the shiny robe of underfoot look better than the cryo silk one though. I just mm -hmm. really love that blue. I don't know, maybe it's nostalgia because my mage on live ran that robe for so long, but uh, I like it. I like yeah. it a lot. I don't. I don't even want to know what it takes to get a cryo silk on the server. Um, at this point. At this point, you would have to send a lot of blooming onions because I'm pretty sure they don't drop. Yeah, those... No, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, a lot they, they of blooming onions. Yeah, they did not drop for a very long time. <laughs> the only way to get one is to have a buddy who got one just kind of give you his account mm -hmm. at this point. <laughs> or if oh. I can convince Nobog to let us do an event with some cryo silk drops. Yes! <laughs> do it Wait. like at some point in the valley it's where the gear is actually no longer relevant <laughs> oh man but it will always be sexy and that's, no yeah that's what that's, that's what you should have it for. speaking of sexy the robe the, the kedge robe that is an amazing robe and i remember when the epics came out and all these rogues were like you don't even wear it just let us let's mq your kedge robe for my epic and it's like, your epic is garbage, <laughs> first of all. Second of all, I love this robe. I love it way more than I give a shit about you having an epic. And uh, I never got a catch robe on P99. It's one of my... It's one of the things that make my heart sad. But it's you that... You go get one. It's, well, now I could, but it wouldn't be the same. I don't know. I like that, like, pastel-y, seafoam green color. Yeah, that's good looking. <laughs> I don't know that I agree with that. About it being a good look? Or about seafoam green being an accurate description of the color? I just don't remember the robe being something that I would want to wear all the time. Um, you know, that's fine. Not everyone's perfect. And I understand that you you might feel that way. But, Some people uh... just want to look like a sea cucumber. <laughs> I apparently am one of those people because I think that robe is so sexy. I think the crimson robe of Aldeline should have been a lot sexier looking. I think for that robe dropping off CT and for for it having such good stats, it should not just look like a robe of the elements. It should no, it look nice. Give it the, the sun nipples, give it a, some different coloring, boom. Or the eye nipples like the cryo silk robe. Eye nipples are best nipples. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, it's great because you know you can tell people where your eyes are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like my eyes are up here. It's like no, they're not though. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh God! Damn at it. you, you can stare back at them. Uh, see now, this I don't know. I feel like the cryo silk. That's probably why the cryo silk robe was removed from game. It was causing sexual harassment complaints. Well, I, there's another new robe that does that too. Oh. Or, uh, no, there's the Chanter only one, I'm thinking. That's the only other one I know of, like, offhand. The Apothic robe does that, the Mage one. Oh, okay. the Apothic robe. And, you know, I didn't get an Apothic robe on live until Lucklin. 
<clears throat> I probably saw like twenty of them drop, and and just never it was never never got it. Just never got it. It was it was the bane of my existence for a long time. You should roll a mage on this server. Any mage item that drops, it's automatically yours. Cause they're <laughs> Although, except when you go fight any, and then they all come out of the woodworks, and they disappear for the rest of existence. Oh, <laughs> uh, you couldn't pay me to roll a mage again. It was, they have no defensive spells. The epic was a horrible pain in the ass. Um, hey, don't they have shatter stuff? No. No? They have gates. Oh, that is it. I know you're trying to make a joke there, but we don't even have that. No, he's not making a joke. He's our level 35 expert. No, yeah. I, I don't know specifically if mages ever get it. We get nothing. We get absolutely nothing other than Call of the Hero, which can be a pretty good defensive spell if you know how to time it just right. But, um, yeah, that's it. I mean, you have to live off of your root nets. Yeah. <laughs> be able to strap for on really good. Those are your Those are your options. Apparently... I forgot I was recording at some point and just started fiddle faddling with things on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> so ignore all of that. Soon. No. Nope. Apparently, I was listening to Ambitions as a Rider. Uh huh. Cause you know, I, I got big happening. dreams. I got big dreams, <laughs> aspirations. And is this is like, <laughs> is this part where you go back and realize you're recording, or like, how do you not notice that? <laughs> Cause here's the thing. Sometimes I'm recording for so long that I legitimately just get bored and forget that I'm recording. Just and so it's like, oh, I'm going to play some music. I'm bored. And so I just pull it up and it shows up on the stream and people got to deal with it. It's, it's, it's a thing that happens sometimes. Professional quality. <laughs> That's the kind of quality you can expect here on this channel. Oh. Uh... Oh. I have more questions for the AG people. What mm -hmm. what kind of people are you looking for? Like, who who is the player who is sitting at home like, oh, I'm looking for a guild. What kind of people should be say AG's the guild for me? Um, so we are we're a casual guild for sure, um, and we do end game raiding. Um, but we, we don't really require anybody to poop sock or do long hours. In fact, we don't even require anybody to track. I put all that uh, responsibility mm. on Chevy. So <laughs> he'll track 24-7 whenever we have a mob. Poor Chevy. I let him, it's true. I let, him, uh, <clears throat> I let him go get, like, Mountain Dews and stuff and stock up. So I'll track, like, the first couple hours. But he pretty much takes over after that. That is mighty white of you, sir. <laughs> It's no, we got a we've got a really good um, grouping of officers who do a lot of the responsibility. We just we try to keep the drama very 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 low. Um, mm -hmm. Whenever we have somebody who causes a lot of drama, I come in and do some conflict management, and very rarely does it result in somebody getting kicked. But you know, uh, sometimes that happens. But um, we don't have requirements of time that you have to dedicate or um, penalties if you don't dedicate a certain amount of time or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we're we're very very relaxed, very open, but we can still get end game content with us. And that's that's kind of the goal. Oh, and we're also pretty family oriented. So we have a lot of people who have kids, and um, and some of their kids play as well. So we don't we, we try to keep like you know family oriented conversations. So I'm uh, not gonna have to worry about people being all explicit and retarded in front of my loved one and or child in in voice chat. Is what you're saying right right voice chat especially like texting typing all that i mean if it happens it happens no one's really going to care i'm not going to send you a tell or anything if it happens all night that's not really that big of a deal but like when you start to get like i don't know i don't know i don't pretty, Sorry. when you get pretty ridiculous about it that's when you know mm -hmm. i'll step in but voice chat we definitely keep it keep it kosher hey plus what uh oh also i know you guys have a thread for uh, guild recruitment on the forums. I'm going to go ahead and throw that in chat in a second. I'm just going to wait because I hate linking things ahead of time because the delay makes it retarded. But uh, that will be there in a second. And what was the other question? Oh, Sky. I know that the guilds rotate the plane of Sky. What day time, like what is your guys' Sky day, I guess, is what I'm asking. What's your slot? 
we have Saturday morning. Um, we start at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, but we do we do runs all day long. So um, all all day, all morning long. So people can join us pretty much at any time. We have a lot of people who are PST. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't remember if that helps them or not. We've got people on both sides of the scale. Um, PST so, is the worst. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, me and Uber we Bandit, we're bringing Central fight. back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what was that? Mm-hmm. We I... got one person from Hawaii, whatever that time zone is on. Who's from Hawaii? I don't even know. <laughs> Just this guy, though. Oh, Tammy. Tammy's from Hawaii. The mate. Oh, actually, Paul Giamatti has a really good question. Um, He wants to know what's going to happen to people's sky keys during the Force Beta. So the server's not actually going to be uh, down. It's just not going to be playable. That way, all the people who are lazy bums and haven't bothered to copy their characters to beta can still do it this weekend. And because of that, the tickers on corpses will be ticking. And I strongly, strongly suggest that anyone who cares about their key corpse goes up and makes a new one Thursday or Friday. Uh, I know Thursday's Thanksgiving, but either do it Thursday morning, do it when you get home Thursday night, or do it Friday morning, because we're not going to restore um, Sky Corpses. I don't give any shits about any of your Sky Keys. So plan ahead, and and don't, don't, ooh, might be too soon for New Orleans jokes, but don't not listen to what we tell you to do. Um, That's a good point. Can we talk about that for a second? Talk about um, what? Sky or people not listening to me or New Orleans? <laughs> None of the three. Uh, oh. <laughs> some details with the fourth uh, beta testing. Sure. Sure. Let's talk about it. Cool. So um, we actually have like gore and BS that are happening starting exactly on the 28th, like the morning of, and then going until the 30th. So kind of curious how the rotation is going to go. Do you know the exact time? That the saw is going to happen. I have no idea. I imagine Rogan o'clock. Yeah, it will happen when Rogan, sometime after Rogan gets home from work, eats some dinner, faps it, maybe play some Counter Strike, Um, and then I know he works on Monday. Monday's his shit day, which is why I have a real hard time getting him uh, to join on Monday nights here. But uh, I don't have times. I, I have rough estimate dates, and I wouldn't even... Should I say that? I'm going to check the front page before I stick my foot in my mouth. Um, <laughs> bu- 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 yeah, exact start and end times are not known. And that's just because he doesn't know, you know, he can't predict ahead of time what's going to happen in his day. But you should know your P99 staff is working on a way to predict the future. That's nice. Yeah, it's because we care. We need to know when Valius is going to come out. And at this point, a crystal ball is the only way we're going to know. Okay, so Jokes. some of the things that go on while we're on that forced beta um, shutdown, the timers for all the mobs are still going to tick, right? Because you said it's just I, I think they will, yeah, because Rogan had mentioned that there's going to be we're going to try to have something in place so that people can copy. Oh, hey, everyone who's listening, just in case we can't or don't get something in place, you should copy your stuff over right now and not even worry about it. And then you don't even have to think about it. Just do it. Make it a thing. Make it done. You'll thank me later. Even if not, there are uh, templates, right, for the classes? Is that still a thing? Um. Yeah. Well, you won't yeah. have a beta buff. I don't log in, though. Uh, well, you could make... Well, see, time. here's the thing, though. At the moment, the plan is not to shut off the red server. And mm. so you could actually go to the red, make a level one, and then copy that character over to beta, get beta buffed, and you'll get the levels, the gear, and all the things. So really, this is a ploy to get people onto red. This is not a ploy to get people onto red. If I honestly don't believe people will pick red over beta... But if that actually does occur, then I will just piss and bitch and moan and cry and complain until Rogan turns off Red 2. <laughs> Before you do that, can you go to Red and just do a mass DT? Like the whole world? 
Well, just start summoning people to some obscure place and DTing them. Oh, man. Oh, I'm going to pay money to see that. <laughs> I rustle Jimmy's just fine on red without DTing everybody. <laughs> <laughs> they are... They are not pleased with me most of the time. But it's okay because they're not pleased with me on blue most of the time either. I've had... Uh, I've had three people remove me from Skype in the last three months. And, and before that, never. It's never happened. One person removed me twice because he's an asshole. You don't remove me twice. That's just rude. I let you back into my heart the st for a second chance and you shit all over it rude but the other the other two one was just like there's no point of having you on skype because we don't talk man and the other one was like i'm mad at you because my jimmies are rustled man and uh, you don't even know you don't even know and people don't even care they're not interested in what's actually going on they hear some bullshit that they read on the internet or hear in team speak, and they're like, yep, well, that's obviously the undisputed fucking truth of the situation. Let's go with it. And then they make knee-jerk reactions. And you know what? In two weeks, people are going to owe me apologies. Maybe less than two weeks. That's just a random amount of time I picked out of my brain. But Sirkin will be owed apologies, mark my words. If Rebellious comes out, all will be forgiven. Um, no, it won't. It won't. It will for like five minutes until people start raiding. <laughs> well, here's the thing, though. What if Velius gets released without raid mobs? Do it! Because that's been brought up recently in staff meetings. Oh, I want to see that. There's been a lot of bullshit. There's been a lot of bullshit in the raid scene lately. Um, there was this big, big meeting between... The Class C, I shouldn't say Class C now because BDA is part of Class C. Halals. And and uh, <laughs> there was a meeting between staff, TMO, and IB to try and resolve a, a ton of outstanding petitions. Because for the last few months, as you guys might know, we've been trying to... Good job, video! I see you're doing nothing again. Let's just pull one of these and one of those. All right. Um... Um, I forgot what I was talking about. I completely forgot because I saw a big ass Windows screen pop up on stream. <laughs> oh. That is indeed a big ass Windows screen. Yeah, I le Class C fight. Oh, Class C meeting. Okay, so we have all these petitions that were never resolved because we've told these guilds to work out their own issues because it was eating up too much CSR time, and we're like, let's science this. Maybe they'll be able to work their own stuff out. And, and for a while, it seemed like it was going okay. They were conceding mobs. They were doing their thing. And then one guild thinks another guild gets away with something. So they start pulling shenanigans. And then both sides pull shenanigans. And then we have these horrible, horrible meetings. And, and it did not go well. It did not go well at all. People, everybody, myself included, all, all probably said and and did said things they shouldn't have said and reacted in ways they shouldn't have reacted there was lots of russell jimmies um i ended up removing somebody from the call because i was legitimately worried like i took a step back at one point and became legitimately worried that either this player was going to say something they were going to regret or either myself or derubail were going to say something that we were going to regret saying and so i realized i figured it was just better to like just end that possibility by removing that one person um and yeah yeah that was rough i'm hoping we can uh, fix that but uh fuck. on the topic of jimmy's uh fightman had a question for a while ago will guild suspensions be extended due to the lockout um good question Guild suspensions end Friday, I thought. So they're just getting wiped? I'm pretty sure the like, we're talking a matter of like three or four hours. I imagine Blue Server <laughs> is going... Actually, you know what? I'm pretty sure their shit expires Friday morning. 
uh, forums. Everybody's yeah, going to see right. it. Yeah. 12.01 on Friday. So yeah, it won't affect them at all. Yeah, if we would have done it last weekend, we originally were planning on doing it last weekend, and then it would have affected the suspension, and we absolutely would have added the two days to make up for the 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 server being down. Just for future reference, if anyone plans on breaking the rules when they know the server's coming down, we're going to add the time. We're not going to let you uh, serve your suspension without the server being up. But that being said, I got I got outstanding issues against multiple guilds again. And because right now it's currently two against each, I'm hoping they'll be willing to just let it all wash. But uh, these nerds need to start playing better. And one thing Darabail mentioned that I was... My first knee-jerk reaction was, absolutely not. That's craziness. But Darabail had suggested the possibility of maybe doing raid petitions on the actual forum like in the raid discussion forum so that all the guilds could see the petition all the guilds could see how the staff and the guild representative is dealing with it um nobody would be allowed to post in that like if you post in someone else's guild petition thread you're going to get banned but you would be able to observe and watch the process in the interest of trying to be more transparent with how we do things so that maybe players will understand why if a situation looks similar, maybe we gave different punishments. Because we might have something behind the curtain that says these are not similar situations. And we would explain that in the petition form, but nobody sees the petition form. And so you I was... also yeah. move them to an archive, like keep them private until they're resolved, quote unquote. Oh, that's maybe even a better idea. That's good. Why isn't Uber banded a GM? He should be. He absolutely Seriously. should be a staff member. Fucking with ideas like that, I mean, he's going to get <laughs> bumped right to the top of the list because me uh, and Darabale talked about this for a minute and that didn't come up. Um, get this man a title. For real. I worry about uh, egos because, you know, some people have egos on this server and usually mm -hmm. when it's private one-on-one -on -one talking... The egos are left at the door and you can just be yeah. two civilized people as opposed to, well, all these people are going to see me petition and I got my reputation to uphold. So I'm going to be a certain way that's probably going to piss off Sirkin because I don't care. I, I'd say if it was in public, you'd see a lot more entitlement, which I don't even know if that's possible, but <laughs> you'll see it. So I think it could also be good because you'd cut down a lot of the the frivolous petitions that come in yeah yeah i imagine people would not just petition all the dumb shit they do if the whole server <laughs> could see the dumb shit that was being petitioned um but yeah i personally i didn't think any guilds would be in favor of that and so i was like that is stupid and then just for shits and giggles we fired it off on uh, tmo and ib and neither one of them reacted the way I expected them to. And so now I'm firing it off on you, Nems. How do you what what do you what say you to the public raid petition things? Well if you're if you're talking in reference to Azure Guard, I don't really care. I mean we don't No really no, get... I know I don't mean like your guild personally, I just mean for the server as a whole, do you think it would be a good thing? Do you think it would be a bad thing? Do you think it should stay the way it is? Do you think Maybe a little more transparency with raid petitions would be good for everybody. Well, what that means is that everything you do from this point forward is going to set a precedent. So if you do something in one situation and it's not, it's somebody's going to say it's the same situation, whether it is or isn't. Oh, I know. Uh, People say all kinds of dumb shit. Yeah, like I, I think BDA and Taken ended up getting in some sort of, uh, of uh, oh, so long ago, like a rage fire or something, or maybe it was a naggy that they had helped them kill or something like that. And then something similar happened later on with some PMO and then BD, or, uh, Chess from BDA just like raged and raged and raged forever saying it was the exact same scenario. So I don't think that you're gonna, it's going to be a 100% solution to people saying, oh, well, you set a precedent and it's not happening. Because they have their opinions. 
Nitsude, I have to say, I don't want to do anything that's going to cut down on Metallicus's tinfoil posts because they do entertain the absolute shit out of me. And Rants and Flame has been real boring for a long time. And I don't want to do anything that's going to make it uh, more boring. Like, I know people... I love... All right. All right. Full, full disclosure. Player base, I love all of you when I'm reading a thread that's like, Serkin's the biggest piece of shit in the world. I wish he would live stream him a bullet going through his head. And you guys are like, Nah, Serkin's good people. We love you, Serkin. I love, I love when players defend staff from trolls on the forums. And, and, but you guys should all know, none of that shit bothers us. When I see a thread that's called Rogan has zero integrity in the, in the rants and flames, I don't get Russell Jimmy's and go and ban people and delete the thread. What I do is I copy the link, I post it in GM chat, and I go lols. And for the last couple of days, every time Rogan says anything in CSR chat, I reply with, and if you don't, or you're not going to because you have no integrity, I read it on the forums. <laughs> and I've been breaking his, like, we legitimately have a good laugh about this. Nobody on staff is going to be like, oh, well, so-and-so thinks I'm dumb, so I'm just going to quit, take my ball, and go home. But that being said, even though it doesn't bother us, I know everybody absolutely loves when we see players come to our defense. I'm pretty sure that the voice you impersonated was identical to Tiggles' voice. <laughs> oh, he has that Michael Sarah thing. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot. I see on the other end every time he talks. People, I don't understand how people still well i guess he doesn't really post or stream anymore but well he did it blows my mind that people would give him the reactions that he was trying to get out of them like he's straight up trolling people to get reactions and and they give it to him every single time i mean i i i loved his posts and i loved his stream he's his stream is part of the reason i started streaming and I used to just have it on in the background and listen to the fucking ridiculous shit that would come spewing mm. out of his Michael Sarah mouth. And <laughs> and I would literally be like in my kitchen yep. giggling like a little kid because it was that retarded. And I'm hearing all these Jimmies get rustled. And, and I don't know. I don't know. I just, it amused the absolute shit out of me. And if people wouldn't have, like if people had just been smart enough to be like, I'm not going to give him the reaction he wants. Ha ha ha. Like, then he wouldn't have been able to keep doing it. Like, he would have just stopped because it wouldn't have been fun for him. Which, I mean, if they didn't react and he stopped, doesn't that ruin your fun of listening to the reactions? Well, yeah, but I'm trying not to be selfish in this specific situation. But maybe those people are doing it for you. Oh, well, if that's the case... I, you, Maybe you... they're counter-trolling just for the also fun of reacting to it. All right, everybody, give yourself one circuit point. No, you know what? Give yourself two circuit points. Two circuit points for uh, contributing to my entertainment by letting Tiggles troll you. Mm -hmm. I don't know who's keeping score of circuit points, but... Uh, Am I going to gain these for anything? Do you do what? Can I redeem said certain points for anything? Um, I'm Even sure. Outback Steakhouse, you'll get blooming onions. <laughs> meet me in the meet me in the parking lot on the side outback. <laughs> I'll be there. Yeah. Oh man, uh, no bullshit. I made Rogan give me Velius X or uh, beta server access. My GM account didn't have beta server access, so if you ever saw me streaming that one time with uh, with uh, on beta as a player, not as a GM. That's why I did that that night. It's because I legitimately could not uh, log in my Circuit account. And so I was like, fuck it, I'm going to be a player tonight. Ha ha. But uh, when Rogan was here and we were chit-chatting in the parking lot, I told him, I was like, I'm not letting you back in that truck until I have Elias access. <laughs> <laughs> and so I gave him my infos and he did it right there in the parking lot. And I went home and logged into Velius. Excellent. It was glorious. Cause let me tell you, I'm spoiled. I cannot, I cannot go. That's what my Velius beta taught me 
is that I can never go back to being a player on EQ. I am so goddamn spoiled. Things attack me, I just like panic. <laughs> it is bad. It's very bad. <laughs> no, so no. trying to teleport the zones. Uh, I. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> when things hit me, I try to depop them. I'm like, oh, it's not working. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Might actually have to fight something. Uh, I trained TMO one time. Tiggles took all my DKP away. <laughs> I was on beta. TMO was raiding beta with Elanova. And so I was like, all right, I'm going to, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to raid with you guys. Just tell me what to do and what not to do. And they're like, don't go over there. And I'm like, well, what's over there? And so I, because, <laughs> you know, if you tell me not to do something, I got to check wow. it out. So I, I snuck on over there and I peeked down in this pit and there was like, it looked like Faded R, but much, much, much bigger. And I don't remember its name now. But I was oh, like, you guys, you guys were in um, uh, the big dragony area. Yes, we were in the big dragony area. But I fell in the pit with the big dragony thing, and and it was bad. It was bad. I ended up training everybody. Tiggles told me I would never be allowed to, or I'd never be good enough or pro enough to be TMO. I think he called me casual scum at one point. Um. But I had a good time. I felt like I was kind of trolling them the entire night, the way he trolls everybody else. And I enjoy little things like that. It's the little things in life that I enjoy, and that was one of them. And you can watch that video at youtube.com slash circump99. It's there. Go. Click those things. You have a video of you trolling TMO? Um, in well, it's, I mean, trolling is such a harsh word. I mean, training and and doing multiple dumb shenanigans that would probably get a guild member removed absolutely yes one of the videos is called uh project 1999 valius beta rating with circin maybe and the other one is called circin goes over time with tiggles i believe because we went over the two hours but i was having way too much fun to log out of elias I was screaming charge, and I would just go charging into a dragon, and then I'd have to send you Nomi a tell and be like, I died. I need I need a res. <laughs> Help. They just macro it at some point. <laughs> oh, it was bad. I was too lazy to set up a UI. I totally forgot to do the faction NPCs, so I run all the way to, uh, I believe it was NTOV, and I'm the only asshole in the zone without faction. <laughs> Oops. How is your neck beard so short? Uh, you know, my neck beard is is legit. It's just it's been reallocated to other areas of neck beardedness. There's a lot of neck beardedness behind the curtain that players don't see. I've started playing Counter Strike because I've learned it's the best way to have a conversation with Rogan. If I need to yeah. talk to Rogan, I'm like, let's play Counter Strike. And then it's like, sense. well, since I got you, let's talk about <laughs> let's talk about some P ninety nine stuff. Sometimes, one time he had a buddy who uh, a work buddy of his in in the game with us, and I'm just going on and on about Elf Quest, and and <laughs> I feel so bad when that happens because these people are like, I don't know what he's talking about. They're talking about dragons and FTE messages and pixels and elves. I just made a horrible life decision playing this game tonight. And, but I don't care, because that's, that's when I got to do it. Since we're talking about GMs and whatnot, mm. um, and staff, I have a list of questions here, and one of them I think pertains to staff membership. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you right now that Uber Bandit is my legal attorney representative, and he may mm -hmm. or may not advise me not to answer certain questions based on the nature of the uh, hypothetical answer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. That means go ahead, I'm ready. I gotta find it, hold on, just keep talking. Oh, okay. Right. Well, we have some backlog questions in the chat, so we're gonna fill those, because chat's more important. Uh, Uber Bandit Rian loves you so much, chat room. Mm. Says, I'm interested in why people are allowed to suck epic mobs for MQ sales when they have dozens of people that get pushed aside that legitimately need that mob and item but are now forced to buy it. What the fuck? All right, so I personally, this has come up in staff. There was a, a staff 
poll or thread or something about how everybody felt about making um pretty much making it so you couldn't mq epics and i said that that was i think it's a good idea the only problem is it's going to cause a lot of guilds and i'm not talking about the ibs and the tmos i'm talking about the zord guards the a teams the the all the the up and coming guilds that aren't riddled with epics yet i don't feel it's fair to them to be like well we let these guilds mq all their epics and work together and do all those things but now that you guys are getting to the state where you're trying to make sure all your people have epics and whatnot you can't mq them you have to do it all yourself <clears throat> and i know that it should have been that way from the start but it's not classic so it wasn't and if i could go back in time and wave the magic let everything be the way Sirkin wants it to be wand they wouldn't be mq'd um and yeah i think it's shitty i think uh i think it's really shitty that you have to buy your epic and that uh, you can't just go and get it but that said it's also very classic for the entire server not to have their epic um, every server, well, I only played on Valenzek on live, but everyone that I've ever talked to who played in, in Kunark era, they're either mentally distorted or they will tell you that a small percentage of the server had epics in Kunark. You're probably looking at the top two or three guilds and then random scattered throughout the rest of the guilds. Um, and I'd say a much larger of the 50 plus player base has a, a larger percentage of the 50 plus player base has their epic on p99 than on any live server during the kunark era and i will i will adamantly stand by those things but that being Probably said have a lot of time when you have years of kunark yeah well that's the other thing mm -hmm. we've been in kunark for what three years three and a half the... years yeah i started playing around kunark so so yeah, about right. there's also a lot more time for people to do epics during the Kunark era. But uh, I don't think they should be MQ'd. And the only reason I wouldn't fight for that to be changed now is because I think it would be a really shitty thing to do to all the up-and-coming guilds. Um, one thing we are working on is the people who just corpse lore items so that they can you know, just lock down the camps for these items. Um, yes. Like, we can't do it with raid things. Like, I'm not going to be like, well, you can't raid this mob. But if it's just like, a, you know, a solo campable mob, like a lot of epic pieces are. Um, one, I know it's not an epic thing, but one example that's happened a lot recently is the J-Boots or the the AC and OOT. AC. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's... It's retarded. It is retarded when I go to an OOT AC dispute and I see a guy with six corpses all with rings on them trying to tell some nerd who doesn't have J-Boots that he needs to get out of here because he doesn't care that he just got the ring. He needs another one. And mm -hmm. I've, already, I've told CSR staff, if that happens, if there's a dispute like that where somebody's corpsing items... You just tell the guy, you can get one more item and then you have to go. And and that's it. Because I'm not going to have people just monopolizing camps for that. Um, and I know people are going to try to compare it to people passing camps off to their friends or their guildmates. But it's absolutely not the same thing. Because when you're passing it off to a guildmate or a groupmate, you're at least passing it to another person who might need the item. If you're just passing it back and forth so the camp doesn't come up open, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, like, certain items where, well, our guild needs this item, so we're going to lock down the camp until everyone has it. That's fine. I don't care. It, it's going to piss people off, but it's fine. Um, and that's not the same as corpsing lore items, which is literally just being a dick. Because you're not sharing it with other players, you're not sharing it with a guild, you're not sharing it with a group... You're literally just doing it to cock block other players so that you can charge a ridiculous amount of money for a J boot MQ. Nobody should ever pay more than 5k for a J boot MQ. Uh, uh. Wait, Wait, are people actually charging more than that? 
I've seen people charging 7k for J-Boot MQs. Fucking, I remember, like, sometimes over the three years, I was looking around and it's like 4k average. Yeah. I don't know, Nemps or Chevy, are you guys in the EC game at all? What are J-Boot MQs at? Uh, about 7 or 8 is pretty average, actually. They're going up. That's They're just ridiculous. going up. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And so... I've noticed noticed uh, a certain one or two people are always either in Ocean of Tears at that camp or selling said J-Boot MQ and EC. Well, spoiler alert, if you get petitioned a lot of times for being a douchebag who's camping lore items, don't be entirely shocked if the server accidentally has a hiccup that causes all of your corpses to just magically <laughs> and unretrievably disappear. <laughs> because, I mean... We have no, I mean, sometimes you guys know, sometimes technology and hardware just does whatever it wants. And, you know, we're only humans. We're, we make mistakes occasionally. And if those mistakes coincidentally only affect the people that are pissing me off and cock blocking other players, then I think that's just the universe and karma doing its own thing. That is absolutely not me nuking their corpses out of existence for being a piece of, of course shit. Not. Of course not. You can definitely work for the government at one point in his life. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. So, so yeah, that's a thing. Um, Nemps, do you have a guild website? I do. AzureGuard.com. It's really complicated. All right. That's really it? Just www.azureguard.com? That's it. Wow. That is, I would join your guild based just on that. Gonna throw that no, in no, chat circuit. too, yeah, buddy. Circuit. Chat We're questions. Over Are the there more? That... Oh, hold on. Hold sorry, on. sorry. Nance was queuing up questions. Sorry, I was I'm gonna jumping. give the floor to him. You're fucking up. Oh, I figured we could run through attorney. a couple of chat ones and then we would jump to well, his. The, this other one is loaded, so loaded like full of bullshit or loaded like it's gonna take a long time. Uh, a little of both. IB can kill three mobs in a 12-hour window after repop, but TMO killed Tracky 26 seconds early. How are those scenarios different? It was used against TMO, but IB served no suspension for it. This MS Paint why... or it didn't happen. See? This is why if you put these things public, someone's going to look at this and say, this is exactly the same scenario. It doesn't matter. You're setting precedence. I'm telling you. But see, that that's kind of the argument for making it public because when some nerd comes here with their bullshit information then we could just respond in the... We wouldn't even... Like, it wouldn't even happen because the explanation mm -hmm. for our rulings is always in the thread. Always. Like, mm -hmm. no... If a player ever goes back to their guild and says, GM Sirkin made this ruling and he didn't tell us why and he's just a power-tripping Nazi asshole and, and we should burn the server down and riot. Um, that's generally not true unless you were banned for like trying to ddos the server or something where i legitimately don't feel you deserve an explanation and that's that is like you have to do something malicious to the server to get that treatment from me that's not like oh i was running mq and now sirkin will never give me a second chance not that account but i'll let you play a new account but um i go off on these tangents i'm on tangents uh, I be the point you were getting form. to was that that having that thread would allow you because what he's saying could very well be true. I I be killed the mobs didn't get punished. TMO killed the mob and did. Well, see, but there's also that things we out resolved. the entire circumstance around it that would be in the thread that would explain that. And you can go, yes, those things are true, but look at the thread. There's reasons. Yeah. See, and that's the arg like you said, that's the argument for it because people wouldn't. People would see, like, they might not always dis or uh, agree with our reasoning or our logic or our decisions, but mm -hmm. I'm not here to please people. I'm here to try and make the best decision based on the evidence that's given to me. And I straight up challenge anybody to show the same evidence that I would use to make a decision to another staff member and try to get a different result. Like, I might not always call the situation correctly, but I guarantee you, based on the evidence given with the petition, there's nobody else who's going to call it differently. And and there are times where I'll make mistakes, and players have walked me through fraps and been like, blah, 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 ABC. 
and then I've had to go and rescind what I did because I messed up and I apologize and whatever, whatever. And I know on some level that's not fair because I'm like, oh, we're staff, we make mistakes. And if players make mistakes, I suspend them. But uh, life is full of double standards and this is just one of them. Huzzah. That's, that's the answer to his loaded question. All right. Also, Nemsier. one thing I wanted to say was, uh, oh, no, I don't want to say that. Never mind. All right, Nemps, floor is yours. <laughs> I feel like what you were about to say was really interesting. You should say it. No, no, I don't think I can say it. I think it's one of those things. I have to filter. I have a filter, and certain things I'm not, I shouldn't say publicly until either I get an okay S from. Circuit. Hmm. Circuit, as your attorney, shut the fuck up. All right, shutting up. Floor is yours, Nemps. <laughs> All right, I actually couldn't find that particular one, so I'm just going to go through the list. Number one, Amsterdam, who's currently in our chat, says, um, what is going on with those audible bong rips in Chest's stream? Can you explain this? Um, here's the thing. I don't know. I don't know. I've never, ever, ever sat on stream smoking a bong so i don't know um i know i was i was who was i watching i was watching i don't know i was watching another streamer and they got accused of it too and i'm starting to think just certain like exhales is sounds like bong rips like people are like you're lying i've heard bubbles and it's like you've never <laughs> heard bubbles like, I don't smoke anything that bubbles. So there's just no way you you heard bubbles. And other I think, times... I think last I've... time I actually had this huge rant. Oh, now, Amsterdam is actually right about something. Because there was one time I was doing something bad. And I tried to mute stream, but I accidentally muted Skype instead. So Skype mm -hmm. didn't hear me do it. But all the stream chat heard me do it. And... and... <laughs> And that's when I was like, oh, I just did a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, God it's fine. damn it. You just, just <laughs> you get, you buy snuff and you smoke a pipe. That's how it works. From cod pipe. Does so crack I, really not bubble? I, I I've, wouldn't know. I've never seen, oh. or, I've never seen anyone smoke crack, but if for some reason I imagined it would bubble. No. Oh, well. All right, you ready for number two? Based on second-hand uh, evidence, definitely not first-hand experience, but no. Are we still talking about crack smoke? Yes. <laughs> Do you have second-hand experience with crack smoke? Because that can, that can be a whole different topic. People next question. Like. All right, next question. Uh, I have a question, yeah. This is the one you were looking for, Nams, but um, is playing on the uh, server or being part of a guild that raids a auto rejection when it comes to applying for staff positions um no i wouldn't say that i'd say um certain guilds certain tags may require you to have a much better application than others but in the past we've had we've had staff members from we've we oh man should i say guilds should i say positions i was gonna say positions in the guild i'll say this we've had people no, I'm not going to say it. We've had people from at least three of the top... Would you say they're number five? I'll say number five. We, we've had people from at least three of the top five guilds on staff. Um, I, I know that there's some people who have applied who I know personally would make really, really good staff members. But I just felt that um, their application or what they're bringing to the table, as good as it might be, isn't worth the the backlash should their identity come out. Um, just for an example, we're going to use TMO. Let's say that someone from TMO put in an application to join staff, and they were a guide, and GMs aren't allowed to play. Guides are allowed to play. Guides have much smaller level of access and can't do nearly as many things as GMs. 
Um, and that's why we allow them to play is because they're not privy to anything that's going to give them an advantage. They can't see spawn timers. They can't see, uh, they can't see, uh, they can't look up things that like I can look up, for example. So we let our guides play. And now let's say one of the guides, even though he's a great guide and everybody loves him and they're like, oh my God, you're the best staff member ever. You should fire a circuit and put you in charge. You're the best. I love you. And, and then one day after nine or 10 months, it gets out that this guy's in TMO. Now, all of a sudden, the, the entire staff is corrupt. We have no integrity. Everything that person's guild did is because they had a staff member. Everything that ever happened to the other guild against them is because they have a staff member. Blah, 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 blah. Box integrity destroyed. Burn it down. And, and it just, it, it's not worth it to me. It would make the person's guild look really shitty. It would make the staff look really shitty. And I, I know for a fact we've missed out on some really good staff members because of it. But uh, it's just not worth it to me. And so, yeah, I'd say, like, if you really want to join staff, put in an application. Because I'm going to look at it eventually. Don't, don't put in an application and expect, like, a reply. We don't reply. But I'll look at it, and um, <clears throat> um, you know, my, it's... my year and maybe year and a half old application is standing proof of that. Oh man, there's apps, mm -hmm. there's apps who, there's people who are on staff who we never responded mm -hmm. to their application. <laughs> like I'll legitimately send the person mm -hmm. a private message and be like, "Are you still interested in joining the staff?" And then I'll set up a uh, like a. a a time where I can talk to that person and kind of feel them out. And um, if I like how it goes, then I'll pass the application up to Rogan and Nobog. And then it's up to them. But, uh, yeah, it's it sucks because so many people who are in guilds with uh, endgame experience, they know EQ better than most. Like, obviously, if you're a guild who raids, you know, the planes or who raids Trakanon, who raids Venral Sather, you're going to know what to look for on those encounters in terms of shenanigans. You're going to be experienced with uh, camp etiquette and, and how, you know, things of that nature should go, as opposed to someone who just started playing two months ago, got up to level 12, has 50 hours a week to donate, but has never gotten above level 12 and has no idea what is normal what is shenanigans what is actual training what is just bad classic eq pathing and so on and so on and and but on the same side if anyone finds out that person's identity we don't have to worry about the staff being called corrupt or not having integrity or looking like we're doing dirty things and so it's it's a horrible horrible thing because we legitimately lose good staff members over it and Chevy, you can't become a guide because otherwise if, if you did i mean who would track all of our mobs so well guides can two box while they play oh never mind you're good <laughs> they just you can't <laughs> ever uh you can't ever be in the same zone as your player character and you can't do any kind of csr for yourself or friends or guilds and if we find out you did you get removed but uh yeah as long as the guide follows those rules they're absolutely allowed to play in two box or play and guide at the same time. Nice. Yes. Do while tracking. That's that's actually ideal. <laughs> Fucking get DKP on one character, answer petitions on another character. No, sir. We don't actually give DKP to our trackers. That's part of the responsibility of being an officer. Wow. Wow. I like that. Should. I like that. You're doing it for the good of the guild and nothing else. That's that's how we run. That's that's sort of our motto, people over pixels. So, do you get any kind of bonus like if you are tracking when it pops? Nope. Good for the good 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 of the guild is the words I'm trying to get out of my mouth. I like that. That is That is that is that's I'm impressed. You blew my mind a little bit. You can't see it, <laughs> but it happened just a little bit. Yeah, all of our officers are really quality people. That was the bubbles. Um, yeah, hey, I, so look, 
I've got a ton of these questions. So all right, hold on one second. Let me fire off one thing. Amsterdam, that is my delicious sweet tea. Also, shouldn't be bubbling. Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> Okay, so feel free to say yes or no to some of these instead of, like, you don't have to give, like, full explanations because there, there are a few. And some of them are also dev questions. I don't know that you'll know the answer to some of these. I'll do the but best you are I serious. can. So you should know everything. I do know everything. I just I have to pretend like I don't sometimes to keep life fair. You just gave away your secret. Oh, we won't tell the Internet. It'll be fine. Perfect. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Internet, this is our secret. Shh. Done. All right, so Durathil says, will the hybrid penalty and two-hand damage changes during Velius be following the official timeline? As opposed to what? Like, yeah, it, are they asking, like, if we're going to do it instantly when Velius launches? Um. All right, I don't know. Ideally, we're going to do everything as close to the timeline as humanly possible, as far as I know, the only thing we're excluding from that rule is certain items that are going to be insta-nerfed the moment we switch Velius on. Like Donald's? Uh, you could expect that, but I'm not allowed to give a list on the specific items at this time. Ah. There will be a list posted when Velius comes out. We're not going to force you guys to figure that out on your own. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so what about Fear and Hate 2.0? Um, that's going to be Timeline. That's ready. It's it's ready to go. No, but I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure all they have to do is flip a switch and it's ready to go. Okay, very good. The next one is one you cannot answer in a yes or no. I won't let you. Um, can we remove variants um maybe <laughs> definitely a All maybe right. hey I'm... that wasn't yes or no so. it wasn't yes or no <laughs> maybe next question all right here's the thing i'll give you a better answer than maybe here's the thing when we had that big oh let's go back even farther once upon a time in a land far far away there was a magical dungeon that housed an undead dragon named Trakanon. And players would run through this dungeon with, with dreams and aspirations of slewing the mighty beast and taking whatever magical fun pixels he would leave behind for them. And these young adventurers would get so excited that they started getting crazier and crazier and thinking more outside the box when it came to ways to secure said magic pixels for themselves. And eventually, it got to the point where 120-some-odd nerds were all sitting on the exact spawn spot of said dragon because they knew down to the exact second that this dragon was supposed to arrive. It was the one of the top three most disgusting things I've ever seen as a staff member. And so we added variants to end the poop sock. And for a good while, it worked. You always had a couple people tracking poop socking, and people were clearly taking shifts, you know, long hours, taking turns, poop socking. Fine. That's not 120 people socking a spawn spot. And there's a huge difference t to me in that. I'm a very competitive player I'm, in all games. I'm not saying I'm a competitive EQ person. Just in gaming in general, I'm very competitive. I played on PvP servers on live. I, I never played a non-PvP EQ thing until P99 was a thing. And that was my first non-PvP experience with EverQuest. Um, I always, always, always literally had to fight other players for any mods I wanted. And so that's why I have such a hard stance against um, enforcing rotations and other such things, and just stupid shit like 120 people sitting on track and on spawn spot. And so then fast forward to last February, we have this huge guild meeting staff summit thing with all the guild leaders while we're trying to hammer out what the new rating policy is going to be going forward. One of the things we put on the table was uh, we'd be willing to lessen variance if players agreed not to poop sock. Everybody in that in that 
voice chat said if we shortened variants, they would not poop sock. They'd stop the sock. And so we were like, cool, we shortened variants. And you know what? The sock didn't stop. The sock moved. And then cough ducking became a thing. And it actually got worse, in my opinion, since last February. And so we see no reason, or at least at this point, we don't see how the players have anything to offer us in exchange for a shorter variance. They could say, well, we'll stop poop socking, but Big Serkin's going to say, you've already played that card and you didn't follow through. I'm not going to accept it as, as something you can trade with anymore at this point. I no longer believe the players when they say they'll stop poop socking. If anything, I'd be more willing to try and get the variance back to how it was when it was longer just because I feel players didn't hold up their end of that agreement. And so See, I think you have I think you have a, a vast majority of people who would actually, you know, quit doing that. It's just that the problem is one guild that one or yep. two guilds steps up and does it. I mean, what are we supposed to do? Exactly. We're, it takes one guild and... to ruin it for everybody. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and then you got to do what you got to do. But the problem is that one guild whoever it might be i'm not saying it's always the same guild just whichever guild happens to do at that time they were in that call the only guild who i'm pretty sure didn't have representation of any kind in that call was moonlight crusaders because they weren't a thing at the time um i think other guilds if they didn't have their leaders there they had somebody speaking on their behalf or representing their opinion or at least people claiming that they did <laughs> Are you talking in February during the Big Good Summit? Yes, sir. Right. I, I think part of the problem... With... Sorry, part of the problem with all of that is is we discussed a lot of things during that time. And um, guild leaders have... I'm not going to say they have a small attention span. I'm just going to say that there was a lot of changes that were occurring. Mm -hmm. um, and so focusing on that one thing and saying that one thing was not accomplished to the extent that we would like it to be accomplished, it, it's, it's fair... But I don't think it's the, the the best way to go about getting that to happen now. Um, if we were to do a new initiative and say, we've got let, here's some options. This is what you can do in order to get what you want. Act as if it's a new scenario completely. Let's talk about variants. Let's talk about poop stocking. I think we would see some action occur because it's one thing to focus on and it's one you know one um, banner to rally behind or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. You know. Yep, yep. I'm not going to lie. I kind of tuned out a little bit there at the end. I got distracted by something on Skype, and I'm really sorry about that. I need you to give me the end bit again, because I know it was important. The too long didn't read. Give me was the that cliff if, notes. Yeah, was that if we want to do something to get rid of the variants, yeah. uh, if you want to get some, do something to get rid of the poop socking, I think you need a new initiative just to focus on that. Instead of instead of trying to pull that out of something that had like 20 different elements to it and some massive change that occurred in February. Here's one thing I would be willing to do and something I'm just, it's not classic, so I need like a real, I, I need weight behind what I'm saying that it is truly for the good of the server if I'm going to go to Novog with anything that is not classic. But one thing I think might help is if we could randomize the spawn location of outdoor dragons and then yes. just kill the variants on those. Because even if you guys had an idea of, of when it would spawn, those zones are so big that you can't be everywhere at once. And, and I know a lot of people who... They would be screaming your names in the streets and, and having a festival in your name if you were to do that. Like, obviously, you couldn't do that with Trakanon, you know? Like, oh, well, Trakanon just spawned in the jail, <laughs> so we're all fucked. <laughs> Uber Bandit would like that. It'd, it'd be like the Revenge of Trakanon, part one. <laughs> Tracky is on, on gray territory with me. Ooh. Because he's, he's not on ROS faction, and he's kind of, you know, an outcast. All right, Trakanon, get your shit together. Mm-hmm. That's basically stop waging war against the entirety of the Ixar. Is <laughs> uh, Landicar? You friends with Landicar? Is he on ROS faction? 
Uh, he's the one who like goes and eats baby dragons or something. Oh. <laughs> I think in the lore, it's awesome. Zlandikar is just a beast. There's like some <laughs> quest to go and kill him, and I think the lore of it is that he went and, and ate one of the other dragon's babies or something, and he's just... yeah in West Wastes. Yeah. You know, Sony and EQ really, really dropped the ball with their lore. <laughs> there's a lot of really good stories and and just there's a lot of good substance there and they never used it for anything yeah and they could have done a lot with it they could have done so much with it because it is really cool it's really cool and and i know in the early days they kind of did in eq but they could have done so much they could have. when am i going to see an eq uh themed rts game make that a thing um, they did. It was really fucking bad. Make a good it's one. Lords of EverQuest. It God was it. not the best. Okay, Sony, here's what you do. You need <laughs> to get in touch with Telltale Games, and you need to have them make a game based in the world of Norath, because everything they touch turns to gold, and and that might be your saving grace. Also, Lou Malnati's, if you're listening, send me a pizza, because I'm just going to start asking every week until that happens. Because it can't hurt. It can't hurt my odds. Also, Done. next question. Perfect. Okay. Oh, okay, Mad Eye says, how is Velius coming along? But I think you answered that. You said you guys are really, really close. So that's good. We're uh, really close, yeah. The last zone that needed to be released was Plane of Mischief, and it's released. So, slash copy... Get your characters over there. Do it before Friday because that mandatory beta of Blue Server is going to be down. And if you don't do it before Friday, you're going to be really upset and I don't want to hear about it. So just do it right now. Log in and do it. Okay, well that actually answered the next question. What do you want us to focus on the most during beta? Which you said mischief. Is that is that what it is? Mischief is the newest thing that needs to be tested. So get in there. As I was saying earlier, just you if you don't know what to do, just go to a 50-plus a dungeon and run a bunch of mobs around and see if the pathing's good. Cool. There's, yeah, there's only so much that you can do by, like, artificial actually trying to test things. Some of the best ways is just getting players and just going through the content and encountering these issues naturally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Super Ranger, which is one of my officers, uh, has a good one. He says... If he will ever forgive me for training a Bixie in the tunnel. The big C in the tunnel. He trained a Bixie in the tunnel, and he wants to know if your forgiveness extends that far. What's the big C? Bixie. Oh. <laughs> the little bee bitches. Oh. Big ones in the sky. I remember that. I was streaming when that happened. Um, yeah, that's fine. I don't care. I don't, I don't hold grudges more than like five or six minutes. At least nice. not not in game. Real life grudges I will hold forever, forever. Um, with Senya in chat, can we only beta one character? No. No. Yeah, you can beta other characters. And pro Build tip, pro tip, just for you, uh, for you loyal listeners, maybe there's a name you want that's taken on blue. There's a lot less people on red, so you can go over there, get the name you want, and then copy it over to beta. You're welcome, chat room. Go do that. Go get the names you want. How do you what does the server that? do if people have the same name? Yeah. Uh, someone's going to get an X thrown at the end. <laughs> oh. Nice. So I did just... Say that again, buddy? I found a good question. I think it's a little interesting. If you uh, were to go on a rampage, which I don't think you would ever do, but if you were, no, I'm and not you were to randomly bind an entire guild in a compromising place where would it be and i love this one yeah <laughs> and what guild and what guild that's the end of that where yeah, would, that right, where would it be um let's see i would need something uh mm. i would need some i can't just be like vp because there's nerds with vp faction and that would ruin my fun um i don't know I don't know. I'm not that horrible of a person. I've legitimately never thought about doing that. Um, what I would do is probably just summon everyone to one zone and then just AE death touch them. Just over and over again. Or I would stick Varius the Bear on them 
because he one shots people for like ten thousand points of damage. No, you know you could um could bind people into the middle of the ocean, but sometimes you can get spells off, so that don't work. I can freeze them down there though. Yeah, but for strictly binding, I'm trying to think of like the best place to bind everyone. To just like now watch them of... death loop over and over and over again. Um, perhaps. Oh, I don't know. Can... Probably fear. Fear might be a good spot to do it. As a GM, could you set bind points? Um, not on the ground. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, could you players... bind someone straight over the hole? Oh man. Mm hmm. <laughs> Oh man, that's, that's genius, man! Again, that is my legal consultant, Uber Bandit. You can contact him at his page, Twitch.tv/UberBandit22, for all your legal representation. That is my answer. The answer is the whole, and I wouldn't discriminate against the guilds. I would death loot them all equally. Nice. Mm hmm. All right. Oh, this one's a this one's a loaded question, but here you go. All right. Love those. Valak wants to know, what role will the current rotation play? Um, how does this affect Kunark and classic targets? Is there a differentiation between... Will there be a differentiation between C or R, etc.? Um, staff has absolutely nothing to do with the rotation. He doesn't mean rotation. He means um, the 1-1-1. Oh, uh, wait. C, R. He's asking F if we're going to change that? If there's going to be... Okay, so he wants to know what's going to happen when Velius comes out because there's the pervading thought that when Velius comes out, C, R, all the classifications go out the window and we go back to like it, the way it was like two years ago. The staff is looking at every option on the table and we're considering the each possible outcome for each of those possible options. And when we land on what we think is the best way to go about it, we will share that with the players. But until then, I have yeah. no comment. And as it sends, the ideal is that players won't fuck each other over and it'll all be happy times. In a perfect that's, world, that's the goal. That would be a thing. But here's the thing mm. the class system was actually designed um, for guilds to try and move up into Class C. Class R. Mm. The R in Class R does not stand for retirement home, my good friends. <laughs> and so. Like, we're going to look at the system. We're going to look and see if we feel it's been successful or unsuccessful. We're going to look at the good, positive things that have happened. We're going to look at some of the less good, less positive things that have happened. And and we'll probably just take it from there. But I know Rogan and Nilbog have the most weight and say in that decision. So regardless of what me or anyone else on staff may say, their answer is just really their own opinion until Rogan or Nilbog throw down the way it's going to be on that. I'm going to comment and try not to get killed by this Sand Scarab at the same time. Tell that Sand Scarab you're busy and fuck off. Seriously. <laughs> Root. I'm playing a level 12 or 11 wizard for the first time. Wizard's hard if you don't have J-boots. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very difficult. Yeah, wizard is get to a porting level farm money for j boots oh man i don't know what narova just said game. what word did narova say after nobog what did he ask it's, if i called it's them? your chat that censors it i know it's universal oh god damn it so nobody knows what word it was no one but narova narova you gotta find a better way or send it to me on skype because <laughs> i don't know if i just insulted them or if i called them like a good thing or a bad thing but now i'm concerned I'm concerned. I don't know. There's crying monkey face. I don't think crying monkey face is good. F A T. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go ahead and say it rhymes with uh. Or no, no I'm not even not even gonna go there. <laughs> um, I don't think I don't think so. I've never even seen Nilbog. Like I don't know. He could be he could be skinny as a pole or big as a house. I have no idea. I've never seen a picture of Nilbog in my entire life. Oh, you nerd. You goddamn slugging. nerd. You know what I meant. I meant their opinion. I'm sitting here like, did I just call people fat? Yeah. What? Yeah, I have a bunch of words blocked on my chat, and one of them is fat whore, because I was sick of the chat room calling my guests fat whores. 
So I put those words on the bad list. I love the bad list, the bad word list filter thing. I might be having a stroke. I'm going to have to have my brain checked for <laughs> stroke now damage. Now you know what it's like. It's hard. I feel the nadir of my pain. I feel it. It's like two inches behind my, like, straight back from my left ear. That's where that's where the stroke affected my brain. It's throbbing. The left side of my brain is throbbing right now. Um, We've got about 15 minutes left, so I'd say rattle off the more important questions just to make sure we get to the ones you really want. Okay. Um... Chevy, look for some important questions. I was going to say something We can about... go over time afterwards if you want, but I just want to make sure we get the questions in this one. Okay. Well, Chevy's going to look for some, and I'm going to finish that. I'm going to say that point that I was going to say about sure. the class system C to R, or R to C, and then move, so forth. Um, so obviously there's a, lot of, there's a lot of guilds who don't see it that way because that's it's they see it as a disparity between playstyle, not um, like one is better than the other. Right. But you guys have made it very clear as GMs and the owners of this game that that is the intent, correct? Yes. Right. But we are not so, the owners of this game. Sony owns the game. Okay, right. I'm sorry. My apologies. The maintainers of this server? We run P99. That's all right. we do. Very good. <laughs> okay, so it, it, thinking about that, and the class R system, I think the most effective thing that, it, that actually pretty much the only effective thing that has gone towards meeting that end has been the alliances that has worked itself out in the R rotation. I don't know how much you spend, how much time you spend on our, our little board that we, you know, debate on frequently, I, but I don't spend a lot of time because I don't want you guys to feel like I'm spying or that I'm breathing over your shoulders. Like, I want you guys to have the freedom to use that board. And then if there's an issue or a problem or a reason for me to go there, or if someone from the forum is like, hey, can you comment on this thread? Then I'll go there. But I don't I don't want to give the impression that, like, I'm lurking or spying on you guys or anything like that. And so that's why I don't post unless someone directly asks me a question. Um, I figure if you guys want my opinion... You can ask for it. Otherwise, that's not the place for my opinion. Sure. I don't I, feel very welcome by all the guilds in Class well, R. Well, <laughs> there are some who definitely don't enjoy you being there, but... You guys probably should have nuked the thread discussing if I should have got the access before giving me the access. We asked. We talked about that. We actually had a private <laughs> meeting about that, and Chess was like, no, we're leaving it up. I don't it hold grudges, it. but it was like, wow. <laughs> Wow, this nerd does not like me at all. Holy shit. I gave him the option. I said, dude, we could get rid of this. He's like, I want him to see it. I want him to see how welcome he is. So, anyway. But thanks to everyone who d was okay with it. Well, the point of me bringing that up was that um, there's obviously been a lot of debate as to whether or not alliances should even exist. You should be able to do it on your own or not do it at all. Right. And alliances are classic. End of discussion. Well, obviously, because you know what alliances do, they start to create partnerships, and from partnerships you get brother and sister guilds, and from that right. you get mergers, and from mergers you end up with a guild capable of not poop-socking things night and day, but being able to effectively use your resources to be able to compete in Class C. Right, it's why a lot of guilds try to recruit, like American guilds will specifically look for Euro-based players, Australian-based players, just to have the clock covered around the clock. On the forums, people are like, oh, uh, nerds answer 4 a.m. bat forums. <laughs> no, assholes. They have European players. Sure, there's some neckbeards who are fucking on this game 28 hours a day. I get that. But a lot of those people, or a lot of those guilds, have people in multiple time zones. And not just, you know, America. Or not just Europe, except for the only all-European guild. And... Whatever. Like, whoever merges... If anyone can ever merge with Europa, they would instantly be a contender. Because they would have, like, at least probably 18, 19 hours a day covered, no problem. With a raid force that could mobilize and do things. Well, you're giving away your secret, because Europa and us... We've been talking a little bit about doing that. You... Uh, oh, I probably shouldn't say that. What? Remind me... Uh, keep talking. We have to confirm with Uber Bandit whether or not that can be publicly displayed. Anyway, um, 
So, so my, my point in saying any of that was that I think the system works to some degree, but we want to, we want to, um, how do I say it? We want to effectively be able to continue doing these things, but then there are some guilds who don't want that to happen because there are certain, there's a certain mentality about class R, which right. is why we're asking about, you know, when Velius comes out, are you nuking the system? Because, you know, you don't want to, you want to know at what point you need okay. to. Okay, my opinion, and this is not a rule, this is not for sure going to happen, this is by no means set in stone, this is me shooting from the hip and taking a common sense approach. What I think is going to happen is that um, I could see VP being added into the uh, into Class R, and I could see Velius pretty much being free for all at least for a while. Um, I'm sure after some point things will probably start to get added. But I don't know if that for sure is a thing, and I don't know what that point or yeah, I don't know what that point in time would be. Um, but I'd be really shocked if VP wasn't added to Class R at that point. Other than that, like I said, like I'm just guessing. We haven't decided anything, and I really don't feel comfortable saying anything else about it, just because I know whatever I say is probably going to be wrong. And then people are going to throw this back in my face later on when Velius comes out. Sure. Lawyers are everywhere, around every corner. Them young lawyers, man. All right, Chevy, what you got for him? Chevy. Here's a good one. What can we do to make your life easier as a CSR staff member? Um, When you have a problem, like a guild versus guild problem, don't. Tell your members not to petition it. There should be one person from every guild who deals with the staff. And because there's nothing more annoying than having 40 petitions come in over the same incident because a raid leader or a guild leader failed to be like, don't petition, I'm petitioning. They probably don't want to have to manually delete 40 fucking petitions to deal with one incident. And so I would say that. Because it straight up limits the amount of time we're spending doing dumb things. There should be one guild representative who acts as a liaison to the staff. Is what I'm saying. Your official guild lawyer. If you will. What What is your dumbest petition that you've ever received? Oh man. Oh god. You don't, there's so many. Anything that involves seeing us in court usually takes the cake <laughs> i can't tell you how many times we've been threatened by players for suing us no i know the dumbest petition i ever saw it's the guy who actually went to plat lord's site and got like the value of his items and and then did math based on like minimum wage in his state and how many hours he had logged on the character and essentially gave us a bill for the amount of money we owed him for banning his account <laughs> based on the value of his items, his money, and his time played. That was the single-handedly the stupidest, stupidest thing I've ever seen in the petition form. That's hilarious. Oh, How yeah. How did one to that? Oh, we... You know how we joke around <laughs> about... Really you know how we joke around about Darabale being our HR manager? Maybe. I don't know. Probably not. Clearly not loyal listeners to the stream. Um. Well, we do. And so Darabale went into full roleplay mode as the HR manager and tried to uh, take, gave him a very like serious, but really not serious reply about how we take these concerns very seriously. And if <laughs> he's been treated unfairly, he should talk to Darabale and they can make this right and blah, 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 blah. But the guy never responded because I think we laughed about it too long before we actually replied. Oh... No, I, I do love, though, when people threaten to sue us. You banned me. I'm suing you. My grandfather owns a legal firm. You're in trouble. Okay. Nice. Next question. What is your favorite Beyonce song? I don't know any Beyonce songs. But when I was mm, 20 or 21 or 22, 
I had to be over 21. So 21 or 22, I was working security for this safety security systems people. They did shows and shit. And one of the radio stations here was doing a, a whole musical thing with all of these people there. And because I don't listen to that music, I was one of the people they selected to be between the stage and the, the gate in front of row one so that nobody jumped the fence. And I almost got set on fire by pyrotechnics. And I was like five and a half feet away from Beyonce. But I cannot name any of her songs. And Jay-Z came in a helicopter. And that was before they were a thing. But he looked like a bulldog. Dude. Nice. Yeah, that's my that's my story. Also, I should never work security because unless some like small teenage girl rushed the stage, there'd be nothing I could do to stop the person. <laughs> when you said you work security, I thought you were like talking about like the back end of some security program. Nope. I was the douchebag taking tickets and stealing drinks from people at the gate. Like, oh, sorry, you can't bring that in there. And then I would drink that shit later. And then they're just like, what kind of music do you listen to? And I rattled off some bands and they're like, come with us. We're switching you with this other nerd. And so that was the thing. Hard life. Because if, you know, people like the music, then they're watching the stage instead of the people. And I didn't give any shits. I was just leaning against the stage. And then some guy's like, you shouldn't lean against the stage for this next set. And I'm like, why? Because I was a young asshole. And he's like, don't say I didn't warn you. And that's when I learned there were pyrotechnics along the front of the stage there. <laughs> also learned that people do drugs under the stage. Like security and musicianal um, employee types. Whoa. Mm-hmm. They just kept going under the stage. I'm like, what's going on under here? And I stuck my head on there, and it was just like, oh, drugs. That's what you guys are doing under the stage. <laughs> Makes nice. a lot of sense. I have another one for you. Very All right. important. All right. Boxers or briefs? Uh, boxers. Boxers. No, no doubt, no time needed to think about it. Boxers. There you go, Chevy. All the answers you could possibly want. Mm, yep. <laughs> my life is complete yes not drugs cigarettes guys i'm a smoker but i only smoked like six cigarettes over the weekend uh next question next question uh we've answered a lot of these chef do you have anything mm, not really when All right. will they make gnomes kos to everything gnomes are gonna be hug on site to everything if i have my way yes Gnomes are the best thing ever. They look I'm like getting gnome paladins <laughs> and SKs. Oh god! So I don't know if I can say that. Never mind. I'm not going to say it. I will say that once upon a time, it, real early on in the server's life, it was actually possible for people to make those combinations, and so there may be a few running around at this moment. That would be beautiful. I can't say for sure. I can't say for sure. But I do know that way, way, way back before I was even ever on staff, it was possible to make those combos. Someone should try and tell me if you still can. And if you can, let me know. And I'll... You can't. Oh, good. Good, good, good. I've tried so many ways to mm -hmm. it doesn't work. You're just going to brute force your way to uh, Halfling Ranger? Mm. <laughs> fuck. No, fuck Halflings. Oh. Yeah, and you know what? You're right. Fuck Halflings. You can't trust a Halfling. Mm -mm. No, they're always up to something. Oh, also fun EverQuest facts while we have a second. The only uh, race class combination that can worship Vishan are human or half-elf bards or warriors, I think. I see. I see. All right. Okay. Well, if there's no more questions, then I'm just going to go ahead and talk about my cigarette smoking and say that I only smoked six cigarettes this entire weekend of Saturday and Sunday, and it was very hard. And it's because I, as some of you might know, I don't allow myself to have an uh, ATM card. And I didn't get to the bank on Saturday before it closed at noon, which is stupid, because when people have jobs, Saturday's the day they do shit. But uh, whatever, whatever. We're going to close at noon on Saturday, and I didn't wake up in time. So I didn't get to go to the bank, and I didn't get to have any money. Zero monies. And so I just made good with the six cigarettes I had. 
and then today happened and I was like change day. And so I took my change and I went to the coin star and it gave me twenty five dollars and eighty eight cents. And I was very excited about my twenty five dollars and eighty eight cents and I said, What can I do to maximize the value? And my first thought was lasagna tacos. I'm gonna buy a lasagna, I'm gonna buy some tortillas, I'm gonna buy some shredded cherry cheese, and I'm gonna make lasagna tacos. That's gonna be a thing. And and in case you're curious, I've done this once before. It was absolutely delicious and amazing. And there's no dirty dishes or forks afterwards. It's genius. But the lasagna was like 10 bucks, and I still needed to buy cigarettes afterwards. So I'm like, no, 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 no. And then I thought about a frozen pizza, and I'm like, that's the stupidest waste of money. I live in Chicago. I'm not, I can't order. I can't buy a frozen pizza at the store, even though I used to. But when I do it, it's a whole thing. I caress the crust with butter, and I sprinkle some garlic around the edges. It's a whole process. Me and that pizza get real intimate with each other before it goes in the oven. Um, but yeah, I eventually decided just to get hash browns and cheese and like 99 cent tortillas and, and this $3, like two liter thing of sweet tea that I've been sipping on all day. And then I bought my cigarettes and I had $3 left over and I went to McDonald's and got a sausage biscuit with cheese and uh, two hash browns. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. But now, now I'm running low. I'm down to uh, four cigarettes, and I'm running low on tea, and I haven't eaten since McDonald's breakfast, so I still have my hash brown cheese tortilla things that I'm going to make later. And I have some ground beef. I might throw them in there, too. It might be good. Ground beef and potato, that goes together. That sounds a lot like a breakfast burrito. Breakfast burritos have eggs and sausage, and they're big as fuck. Um... Oh, did I take it off my computer? I emoed out and fucking took a whole bunch of shit off my computer uh, a few weeks ago. And I'm pretty sure the breakfast burrito picture was in there. But have you ever seen like a full size like Fiji water bottle? Yeah, I think you sent me I think you sent me that picture that has the breakfast burrito and the Fiji water yeah, bottle. Yeah. Yeah. My burritos are big. These are just regular taco shells, like tortilla not they're the soft shells, but you know, regular taco size. And you can't make a breakfast burrito with a taco tortilla. That's just silly. Whoa, Green Grocer's on your chat. Green Grocer is amazing. Yes, he is. He wants to pay you 100 plat per hour to put the Nam Santo Industries banner ad on your stream. No, then people would say I'm showing him favoritism. I already got shit because I said he could run his meat spin. And people are like, oh, that's favoritism. And I'm like, shut up, you you nerd. Shut up. You there's, have an idea as good as meat spin. There's no money involved. There's no platinum involved. That was the problem. They were literally, they were using casinos to launder platinum. And, and if people start RMTing meat and sandwiches and shit, <laughs> then I'll come after meat spin. Or Darabelle will come after meat spin. But until meat is used in the RMT market, I don't give any shits about meat spin. I think it's fun. I think it's great. And I think if we had another, if we had an entire server of people like Green Grocer, there would never be any problems. And this whole thing would be rainbows and unicorns 100% of the time. And in case you guys, how much time do we have left? Do we have time for one more story? Oh, God, we're cutting it close. Okay. Okay. Last story. The reason we're so goddamn late tonight is because literally like eight minutes before we were supposed to start streaming, we were going to be on time too. Literally on time. I was talking to Nemps in a Skype call, just making sure we were all good. And I was like, we're good. And I looked down at my clock and it's like 7.52 and he's wording in my ear hole. And I'm like, this is going to be a good night. And then <laughs> I didn't just get Comcasted nerds. I got electricity, if that's a thing. The, all the electricity in my house went out and I was in darkness and it was it was I was like Ray Charles for a good five or six minutes before I found my lighter and then here. no and I went to the window and looked out my window and it was all dark on the whole block and I looked right and that block was all dark and I looked left and that block was all dark and my brother came out and he's like you think it's a fuse and I'm like nope it's the whole goddamn street and so he Some called can you slip on the snow and who knows? Called Comcast or uh, Com look at Comcast is just like my default company to blame. 
uh, called ComEd, and they're like, yeah, it's going to be about two... They had a recording message. It was like, it's going to be two hours, uh, about 3,000 people are, are reporting power outages, blah, 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 blah. So I flipped the table and left my house for an hour, came back, had power, was very excited about it. I see Areni is in chat, and she had beef tenderloin raviolis earlier, and that actually sounds delicious. I was talking to someone the other night who had cheese raviolis with some kind of salad. I'm not crazy about the salad, but I was really jealous about the uh, about the ravioli thing. I want ravioli in my life, and I'm not getting it, and that makes me sad. I'm going to strangle each and every one of you with a three-inch piece of string because I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> <laughs> I just had chicken kebabs and a quesadilla. Oh, I like that. Banned. And hummus. <laughs> Alright, pals. We are going to have to... Uh, do you guys want to keep chit-chatting? Or do you have to go? I don't have nothing else to do with my life. I have this burning yeah, desire to make a sandwich. Alright. Oh, actually, I do have something to do. I have to do a trivia night for my guild. Alright. So on stream, I guess. Well, I, I don't care, because here's the thing. I have to wrap this up, because we're hitting that two-hour mark. But we can go over time, if you want to go over time. So, that's what we're probably going to do, chat room. Uh, Renny, don't go anywhere, and it's not my fault. You're very late. But uh, we'll be right back. We got an intermission, so if you guys got a peep, or peep. If you guys got a peep, go and peep now. You might be wondering, what's peeping? It's a combination of peeing and pooping. I'm saving valuable seconds by just merging words together. Um, Chevy truck. I want you to know I do apologize for accusing you of being a two boxer, but I'll never do it again. Thank you. It makes me feel makes me feel a lot, man. Thanks. Well, thank you for coming on stream. You're a lot of fun to talk to. And I hope we can get you on again sometime. You should say goodbye to these fine people and tell them anything you might want to tell them. Uh, goodbye, fine people. And, uh, yeah, thanks for... A plus. Um, um, Neps. Guild leader of Azor Guard. I know you have links for your guild. It's uh, www.azorguard.com. And if you go to the uh, forums guild discussion, there's an Azor Guard thread. I'm going to post this link in there so your guild can listen to it afterwards if they want to. And say goodbye to these people. Goodbye, people. And if I can give you words of wisdom, you should say the word Coke in a French accent. Because it's really funny if you ask somebody <laughs> for, for a Coke in a French accent. Sorry, France. You're just too easy to make fun of. And, and Bandit of Uberness, do your mm -hmm. thing. Yes, I, I, my thing might be involving um, standing out, making a sandwich, and yelling at a Rennie. So, I will be leaving at least for the moment. A plus. We're gonna have to do uh, another Bloomin' Opinions. Mm -hmm. Guys, guys, I, I was gonna talk guys. To you about that. Me and Uber Bandit made a thing with just the two of us. It's called Bloomin' Opinions because it makes me laugh every time I hear that, and and. I think it's great. We learn valuable things. Like, I send dirty tells to level 1 Undercon, and... Oh, shit. And I'm a premature F5-er. So, I don't know where the link is, but www.youtube.com slash circump99 has all of them. Um, did I throw Uber Bandit's link in there? I did. You did. Click on Uber Bandit's link. Follow him. He streams for real now. It's not just a joke anymore. I saw him with like a robotty, robotty, spacey ship thing, and so things, things are things, yep. guys. Game, game variety, everything from P ninety nine doing some new quests with my buddy who hasn't played EverQuest before, to that Robocraft thing, to whatever else I can run streaming and computer and talk at at the same time. Hooray! Woo! Um, all right, you nerds are going on hold. Everybody, thanks so much for watching. Um. Maybe we'll be back for overtime. Hit the follow button. It'll let you know if we do. Um, and if not, thanks for watching. Sorry we got started so late tonight, but it's a thing that happened. And yeah, but we, we got, we, we struggled through. We did. We did. Love you guys for watching. 
and Uber Bandit loves you guys for watching, and Nemson Chevy love you guys for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful Monday night.